This is Victor for Partner Island, and I am using Final Cut Express to do a tutorial on how to save something on iMovie. Ironically, I'm using Final Cut Express. Uh, anyway, if you use iMovie and you export, you might notice that the, the YouTube settings will export something at very large file size. It's so today I'm going to teach you how to export something on, on iMovie using not your regular iTunes uh, setting or YouTube settings, but rather the, uh, the QuickTime settings. You probably recognize this, this screen. If you hit the share button, you have all the choices. Uh, share using all these different choices. Today we're going to concentrate on export using QuickTime. But at the end of this uh, video, I will show you where I did export it one time at HD 1080p, which gives you a very large file size. And I'll give you the size of the file size uh, at, the end of the, at the end of this uh, video as well. So now let's go back to share and scroll down to the second or third from the bottom and click on export using QuickTime. When you do that, you'll get this window. And I just typed in test as a test. And uh, you want to set it to movie to MPEG4, MPEG4, and then hit your options button and then get your settings so they match mine. And pick data rate 5000 and then hit the bottom button that says video options and then click best quality, which will multi-pass, it'll, it'll render it many, many times in a nice uh, way. You can also choose uh, faster encodes, which is single pass, which to my mind, they look about the same, the quality, but again, at the end of this video, I will show you links to samples so you can compare them by yourself. Some people say you can go as low as 2,500 k bits per second. The, the, remember the original that we did is 5,000. And of course, uh, I often use 1000 when I export to Nico Nico Doga, though there's no need to do that on YouTube because they accept uh, bigger sizes. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, at, and now at this screen, I will give you annotations where you can click and compare the different file sizes. And yeah, thanks for watching.